Okay, I believe we're recording now. So I'm Vance Stevens in Malaysia. I'm talking to Hala in Egypt. Hala, I don't know if you have a webcam or if you want to use it, but if you did, then that you would be also it's, featured here. It's okay, yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. Hi, Hala. Hello, <laughs> Hello how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you, nice to meet you. So... Uh, nice to meet you too. Yeah. Uh, are you here because of Hannah Khamis by any chance? Yes, <laughs> somehow. Uh, actually, yes, I uh, read her email and actually I'm interested uh, to, uh, to attend this uh, session. Okay, that's great. This is, um, I, I've been doing a course for the last I'm two a and teacher. a half weeks. I'm a teacher of English language, yes, uh -huh. I'm a teacher of English language for about 20 years now. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I was in the mentor program uh, for uh, the last week. Uh, uh -huh. And actually, I like uh, to uh, to learn more about um, how can I uh, make use of uh, blending classes, how can I use technology inside my classroom, and so on. Okay. That's basically what the course is about. Uh, the course is online. It's going to remain online. I'm not sure if I will be, I'm not sure how engaged I'll be because I, I, I'm supposed to go to the TESOL conference in April. It means I'm going to get busy. Uh, the, and here's Rita. Rita Zeinsteyer is here. Hi, Rita. Rita is from Argentina. Rita, we have Hala here from uh, Egypt, and nice to see you. Don't forget to unmute if you want to talk. Yeah, okay. Nice to see you again, Rita. You're still you're still muted. You have to unmute yourself. There you go. Yeah, great. Uh, oh. Good to be here, back, and uh, hello, Rita. Sharing. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you, Hala? Fine, thank you. What's the time in Argentina now? What's the time? It's 11 a.m. It's 11 a.m. It's 4 p.m. here in Cairo. Oh, I see. Well, sorry about interrupting you. You were talking about your any problems that you may have had. We, we just started. Uh, Hala has been a teacher for 20 years. <clears throat> um, she, uh, uh, she's heard about the course, the blended learning course, and uh, I, at some point I can start a screen share and show a little bit about that because that's, I kind of have to do that, I suppose, if I'm going to uh, uh, speak about the course. We're recording. I hope that's okay with everybody. So... Um, yeah, uh, basically. Well, let me just. Uh, I was saying. I was asking Hala earlier if you're um, if you've joined the Schoology course. Have you done that, or do you need to know how to do that? No, no, actually, I did. It's not necessary. These these uh, my course is all online at uh, uh, workshops twenty twenty dot pbworks dot com, or you can go directly to the uh, to my course at tinyurl.com slash blended2020. Blended is... Would you please send us a link if it is possible? Sure. Yeah, let me just do that. Let me see if I can put it in the... If I can find a text chat here. Here we go, chat. So um, th this is the course right here. Tiny... Oh, sorry. I have to put an HTTP here. I probably could do better. You know, I could do better if I just go and grab it from uh, from one of my. Here we go. So let's see. Um, here we go. I might as well just share this as well. Okay, so I'll put the uh, the link in the text chat so that you'll all have it, and then I'll just go ahead and share it. So. Uh, hey, thank you. Up. There we go. So this is the course we're talking about right here. There it is. Now I'll, I'll go ahead and open it up here as a share. Okay. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I suppose you can probably see the screen share. Yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, oh, I get, is that the e-learning? That's not the uh, course I thought I gave you. It should be this one. Okay, is that the one I gave you, Blended Learning Classroom? Create, Create. your Blended Learning Classroom? Yeah, yeah. This, this. Okay, so uh, it's a course I've been teaching for the last three weeks, and for two weeks in January, I gave... Uh, some courses in Thailand, which were uh, on this topic. And so the idea was that I would teach the students in Thailand. Uh, I, I gave workshops. Uh, the workshops were a few hours to each group of students, and they had me flying all around Thailand. And uh, so I was giving many times these different workshops. So if you, if you go to this course, Create Your Blended Learning Classroom, you can see a sidebar there, and the sidebar shows you all about the workshops. There were four workshops, okay. depending on how yeah. much time I had with the students. So the workshops are important yeah. to us because they have um, the, uh, the basic tools that we were using to talk about this course. Okay. Uh, this course, uh, if you go to the link that I gave you, which is also tinyurl uh, slash blended2020, so anybody can go there and find these links okay. that takes you to this page yeah. basically yeah. it tells you that you should enroll in the schoology course and okay i just click i don't know if you saw where i clicked there click here on the it's a table of contents here so if i enroll in the schoology course there are the short instructions if that's hard for some people to do uh, nothing okay. wrong with you i think it's an interface with schoology but you can also okay do it step by step as you can see here so you you go to courses it's great, a, great my, i'll check it yeah so if you want you can enroll in the course and if you do enroll in the course let me okay. see if i can find it here here we go so this is the course um i will do oh, for okay, sure oh, yeah okay i'm just going to sign into the course yeah it's just logged me out. I've been signed in. I'm always signed in, but you know, every now and then it just logs me out. So, um, okay. So this is my course, which I created. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, the, it is. if you go there, this is, uh, I'm not sure if it's my, actually my profile page, but if you click on, well, yeah. when you go there, you get to the materials and there we go. Okay, yeah. So this has an announcement about the course today and about the yeah. last week in the course. Yeah. And then it shows you uh, over here on this side, you can see this is the webinar we're in right now. There are two more webinars this week. One is on the 9th of March. And actually the 9th of March is kind of special. Uh, that's not hyperlinked yet. Uh, this is mm. a little bit slow. Uh, I can show it to you uh, probably the best the best place to see the course is in PB works yeah so, but this is just a course yeah. where you can interact with people so yeah right now when we're in week three but we've done yeah, one in weeks two we in week one yeah. I had people create what I call a, di a digital poster so I showed them a lot of tools let me go back to my yeah. P my PB works page uh, this yeah. is the one that, that we left a moment ago where I, uh, yeah. uh, this is how the, how to create a blended learning classroom. Um, yeah. on the screen share, you can see that there are, there, there is a, uh, a link for week one, week two. Yeah. So, um, uh, for, for the next, excuse me, for the next one, it, uh, will it be on the zoom program as uh, this one or, or, uh, uh, will be recorded for on the ninth of the ninth of March. On the ninth, it will be in Zoom, and it will be recorded. Everything is recorded. Okay. Let me just show you how you find that. You, uh, it's on the upcoming and archived events, and so this yeah. is. These are the right now. We're at March seventh, and then March 9th. Yeah. That's a special. Yeah. Uh, I've got an activity set up. There's some people from yeah. Hong Kong who are going to talk yeah. about how they're having to. Uh, go into a, an online environment and what yeah, we're talking yeah. about is blended learning. Blended learning yeah. assumes that you've got a face-to-face -face component with your students. So what, what all this was about 
was showing uh, people how they can set, in your case, for example, Hala, I would think, yeah. uh, you're meeting face-to-face -face with students, but you want to have yeah. some kind of blended, uh, that is, you want, to, you want to have something online for them so that yeah, they can, yeah, yeah. you can show them what you're going to do day to like day. Show, like showing them a kind of video, uh, something like this, related to the lesson? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we've kind of done a lot of that. Although in week three, we're actually, I was asking people to actually set up these courses. So, well, well let me continue mm. down. This is, this is the ninth, what we're doing in the ninth. We're having some people from Hong Kong who are going to, be, they're in the situation of having to go from blended to online. That means you have no blended, you have no face-to-face. -face. That means you're just in the online environment. Yeah because they're not coming yeah. to class anymore. So that's what makes these blended learning classes so important, I think, is because you set up this environment where you can work yeah. with your students online. And if the students have to disappear, yeah. you just add yeah. Zoom or some place where yeah. you can meet them. And then they, you still have this classroom set up where they can still get their courses. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that's what's happening on the 9th. On the 11th is the last event that's uh, going to be in the course officially, although I have something I call learning together, which I do frequently, and I'll be uh, leaving this course online. I'm, I'm not going yeah. to be coming back to it obsessively as I'm doing right now and intensively. Um, every day I'm coming back to this course and I'm always thinking about the people here. As but you will be busy, right? <laughs> well, I've, I've got a couple of things I need to do, and, but, but I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to leave it running. Yeah. And so yeah. people can interact. You can see all the materials online. Uh, you can contact me. Uh, you can contact other people here. I, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to set a, another a community space here. And yeah. the community yeah. space will have some places where you can interact with other people here. So um, I'll set those up. And uh, But right now we're just going through uh, three weeks. That's over here. That's uh, okay. we, We've done... Uh, week one, week two, and now we're and now week three. We're in week three, and in week one, I asked people to just look at the tools and make a a digital poster, and only a few people did that. And then in week two, I said, let's make the digital poster into a digital story. What I'm trying to get people yeah. to do is get familiar with the tools. And in week three was to uh, the task this week is to set up some sort of uh, blended learning activity and I'm yeah. thinking a lot about what I call DIY LMS let me just make this a little bit larger here okay so DIY LMS is do-it-yourself learning management system, management system. Are you, do you know what a learning management system is uh, learning management system uh, I think it's like uh, the student center approach or something like this uh, that uh, people uh, try to uh, learn or acquire knowledge uh, depending on themselves, not everything on the teacher or something like this? The learning management system is, it could be Blackboard or Moodle Blackboard. or a space yeah. where, or Schoology. It's a space where learners can go to see the course all set up for them. And, yeah. uh, the, and Blackboard is something that's very expensive. Moodle is something you can actually get for free, but you have to mount mm -hmm. it on a host computer. You have to put it on yeah. a server somewhere. Uh, Schoology, you can uh, put this, um, you can put Schoology, uh, you can just use it online, and it's something mm -hmm. similar to Moodle. And then some people yeah. will use Google Classroom, and there, there are lots yeah. of possible learning management systems. What I'm trying to yeah. do uh, show people how they can set up their own learning learning management systems without paying yeah. for it. Uh, even if yeah. you buy something like Blackboard, there's so much criticism about Blackboard. They pay people pay a lot of money for it. They're not really necessarily happy with it. Um, so people in their different contexts. Uh, do you use anything like that, Hala, and where you are? Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, I think uh, I uh, went through many courses online and uh, uh, like uh, classroom management, uh, ways, new strategies and new techniques in teaching, speaking and uh, reading for young learners, mm -hmm. uh, something like this. And uh, 
uh, I think they were very beneficial for me. Mm -hmm. So a learning management system, your, your students would enroll in it. You could probably give them grades. Um, it would track their learning. Actually, there are... Uh, uh, actually, I use the Google Classrooms. Uh, classroom, okay. Classrooms, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used it with my students. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a learning management system has, it's a, there's a portal. Uh, there's, um, uh, these are portals, possible portal, portals. Google Classroom is one. Yeah. And um, another, uh, there's some kind of notification space where you can give announcements somewhere or maybe a yeah. social space where people can interact some place for discussions, yeah. uh, a calendar you can set up, uh, a synchronous meeting space. Here we're using Zoom. Uh, Google Zoom. Classroom, I don't think, yeah. has that, but you can use Zoom or some other possibilities. Sure. Something mm -hmm. we just discovered called Go Brunch. Uh, I think Zoom yeah. is the best, actually. Back, back channel spaces, uh, somewhere for students to submit their work. And you don't really need a space for that. Me, I'm using uh, uh, things like, uh, I'm just asking people to put links online and they submit their, their work that way. And then there's some, I don't know if you're familiar with these software tools that also will help student, will track student work. Yeah. But anyway, there's inf information about these uh, here and um, so that's what uh, that, that, that's what a learning management system is. A learning management system yeah. is based, which you can you can either buy it or you, you can uh, go to something like Google Classroom, and you can have a yeah. lot of these components built in already. And then if you need more components, you can make them yourself. So the do-it-yourself learning management system could be Google Classroom plus other things that you might add if you want these extra. Uh, uh, about the it puzzle, is it like uh, the Kahoot application, something like this, or it is different? Ed puzzle the is the first one. It it's, puzzle. It's uh, you. You uh, uh, you load in videos, or you send it to yeah. YouTube, and you build um, questions into the videos. So the students play the video, and yeah. they come to one of your questions, and then they answer the question. And then they move on, and it tracks their it, answers. It, 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 is, it is like uh, Kahoot. Do you know about it? Uh, yeah, I know about Kahoot. That's right. Uh, well, Kahoot is yeah, yeah. not really, it's not different. really. Yeah. 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 It's um, Kahoot is uh, Edpuzzle. You can do entirely online. So. Yeah. Um, with Kahoot, you sort of have to be it, in a classroom. But this one is not the it puzzles. It, uh, it, puzzle, it doesn't need to be online. The students, no, it is online, and the students don't have yeah. to be in classroom. But if in Kahoot, you have to sort of do it in your classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah, that's the that's one difference. I'm just trying to find a. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to find some headphones so I can hear hear you even better. <laughs> oh, look at this big. I got to untangle that. Yeah. yeah. I can actually hear you fine. Rita, how are you doing? Okay. Fine. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just uh, trying to peep and see what you're doing now. We're always doing something. <laughs> so I can see that you have always got a customer <laughs> and somebody interested in what you're doing. So that's great, Pans. Yeah, I'm doing this this course I'm doing as an English language specialist. It's uh, I stopped teaching uh, uh, in 2018 and I moved to Penang last year. And so I've been here for about a year and a half and um, haven't, I mean, I'm just doing the usual things like um, I, I do something called learning together, which is uh, Rita's familiar with that. Uh, I think you might have done one of our very, very first ones in 2009, uh, as I recall. I can't remember what the topic was, but anyway, it's there at Learning Together. If you go to learningtogether.net and or, uh, find, or learningtogether.pbworks.com, you can find our ar archives, and you can see what it was you did. Should I look it up? I've got a screen share going here. Let me just check it out. Let's see. Here we go. Here's Learning Together, 
and it's learning together dot uh, dot pbworks.com and the archives here we go so these archive index right here and uh, I can go back to the first ones in 2009 was it over here somewhere well in fact I joined the group in 2002 so it goes back oh that's webheads in action I'm yes I'm looking, or maybe it was Teresa. It was Teresa who did the first one. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. Uh, anyway, it was in 2009. But I'm sure you're in here somewhere. Let's just look you up. Uh, okay, there we yes. go. There's Rita on the K-12 on online conference. And, oh, yeah. And here you are. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, yeah. Look that one up. Right. Yeah, it was a presentation on Twitter. I remember that. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So all these things are still there. There's, if you want to hear, Hannah, if you want to hear Rita's presentation there, you can look her up, Rita Zeinstayer. And uh, she taught back in 2010. She taught something, taught, uh, gave us uh, the 18th episode. We're up to 450 almost. Wow. It's in. Uh, Vaz, just a question, which I wrote on, on the chat. Um, uh -huh. uh, can you uh, share a PowerPoint presentation in Zoom? Uh, pow in, it, yes, you, well, you can know you can screen share. Ah, okay, that's it, yeah. You can't up upload it. Um, there wouldn't be any need, really, I suppose. Um, uh, if, you, if you just bring it up on your computer, you can share it. Right, right. That's the only thing I can see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't. It's not like Illuminate where you you have to upload right. the presentation. You just put it on your. You just show anything you have on your computer. I can share. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I yeah. share your screen. Right. Yeah, I'm sharing a browser window right now. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And what's the difference between Go uh, Go Brunch and this one? I haven't tried Go Brunch. Go Brunch. Go Brunch. Uh, we just found out it uh, found out about it a few days ago. Uh, Nelly Deutsch has been experimenting with it. Let me see if I can get back to that. Uh, um, let's see. This is this is my this is the um, webinars archive. But if I go back to week three, uh, where I just was talking with Holly. Well, don't worry. I can go back myself. Vance. Just uh, I can do that and see. Uh, if you've got it there, then Here I can it is. just... Uh, <laughs> okay. Go so, brunch, yeah. Ah, okay. There it is. So I'll <laughs> yeah. browse that. Right there. Okay. So, gobrunch.com. But Nelly made, some, made a couple of uh, screencast-o-matics about it, which is really interesting because she was trying to figure out how to work it. And I, right. I was thinking I might try to use it tonight, but uh, I, I'm not really sure that it does exactly what I want it to do. So after watching uh, Nellie's demonstrations, she was having a little trouble with it. So I think Zoom is the thing to use if you, you know, until you get familiar with Go Brunch. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, much better than uh, Skype, really. Yeah. Because, yeah, Skype has become quite unreliable. Yeah, yes, mm. you're right. A lot of people are using Facebook these days which actually seems to be doing quite well. It's streaming, for example. So Facebook? Yeah. Facebook Messenger, you mean? Well, you, know, you know, I've never been a fan of Facebook. Never, ever. Uh-huh. Uh, ITDI are using Facebook, and I, also Hana, Hana Hamis, who Mahala knows, is... Uh, yes, yes, of course. She's, she does a lot of Facebook streaming. Yeah, she sets up yeah. watch parties, but also she'll just go to conferences and start streaming from whatever presentation she's in. Okay. And um, but ITDI yeah, is. Egypt, we prefer Facebook actually. Yeah. It, it works. It's smooth. Um, yeah. 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 ITDI okay. is. You, you using know, it it's available anytime, and uh, it's easy to use. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, um. I like Zoom because here I am at my computer. I've got a nice stable platform. If you're using Facebook, you're likely to be on your uh, on your cell phone, and the video is a little wonky. But I mean, for what you're trying to do, you're just trying to sh share an experience. 
um, it's quite effective. And if you're using Facebook Live on your computer as ITV, so, so excuse me, what is the difference between GoPrench and Zoom? Because it's the first time for me to hear about this. Is there a big difference between them? Well, yes. Um, Zoom, if, if, first of all, yeah, I'm a pro user of Zoom, so I, I pay something, a couple of hundred dollars a year, I think. Uh, ten dollars a month or twenty dollars a month, something like that. So I have to pay to get unlimited um, yeah. time. But for the free version, you are limited yeah. in your time, and yeah. there may be some other constraints. But the free version really works quite well. So it depends on what you want to do. Yeah. But um, uh, the free version of Zoom or the the pro version of Zoom does everything without a hassle. You just click and go. With Go Brunch, um, you can watch these videos, Nelly's videos here. Um, I can put this exact link in, uh, in the text chat. I'll just do that. So everyone has it. Okay, there you go. So that's, that's exactly where I am right now. So yeah. uh, Go Brunch, you can look at Nelly's videos. The, the second one is 17 minutes long. She's quite confused about how to uh, record and when it's going to record. It seems to me that with GoBrunch, the problem when I saw Nelly's demonstration is that you have to tell it when it's going to start. WizIQ used to do that as well. So you tell it when it's going to start and then mm. it starts recording. Like right now, we're at uh, 23 minutes after 10. Yeah. So if you set it up, you have to start recording at 10 o'clock. Me, yeah. with Zoom, I just started recording whenever I felt like it. Or with Facebook Live, you start recording when you feel like it. So, um, but this one seems to, uh, you have to, if you create a webinar, you have to start it at a certain time. And uh, we're just now playing with it, so we don't know. There could be a way to get around that. Or maybe mm -hmm. you could pay something to get around that. I don't know. We really haven't explored it all that well. Um, yeah. But it's it's I it looks it. nice. It, it's an interesting, um, interesting um, platform, you know. But um, yeah, yeah. Functionally, I would say Zoom or Facebook if it's working for you. It's, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you? I think it's not popular here in Egypt. This uh, type of uh, this branch is not so popular here in Egypt. We don't know about it uh, so much. Uh -huh. We are familiar with Facebook, uh, Zoom, and uh, all other platforms. But uh -huh. this one is uh, new for me, and I think um, uh, no, 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 many people uh, know about it. Yeah, we didn't know about it three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody uh, really? announced it in our so group. It's, it's yeah. not only me. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We, we're just now exploring it. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it might be nice. We don't really know. But so so far, we're, and they're, they're a new company. They're just setting it up. It has a very nice interface. Uh, it's probably worth going to check out. And you could look at, uh, at that link I just put in the text chat. You could look at okay. uh, Nelly's videos and you could. It. That, they'll save you some time, and you can see okay. uh, if you can do better than Nelly. She's using Screencast-O-Matic to record her videos. I, are no. you familiar with Screencast-O-Matic? No. no good. Um, very good tool. Very good tool. It's yeah. a lovely tool, yeah. Let me see if I can find just for Hala. If I go back up to my uh, to the top of any of my pages as a home, takes you back to the workshops. Maybe I could just go there. Although the sidebar is the same, so um, I covered that tool. I think in uh, maybe it was week one or maybe it was week two. It might have been week two. Uh, okay. Multimedia tools for learning. So let's just see. I think Screencast-O-Matic. Yes, Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, I'll I'll put that link again in the in the chat. So yeah, Screencast-O-Matic is is a, a really nice tool. It's free. Uh, I think you can pay something for it. If you pay for it, are you do you pay for it, Rita, or do yes. you yeah. or do you use the free version, Rita? Yes, sorry. Do you pay yeah, for? I, do you are you a no, paid? No, no, 
No, no, I've used it without paying uh, anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't I, know whether it's gone paid now. With, if, if you use it for free, you get 15 minutes, I think. Right, right. That's it, yeah. yes. So if you, yeah, if, you, if you want to pay for it, you get more, and you also get some more tools for indicating. Uh, but uh, it's, it's a really nice tool, even for free. You know, if you're actually going to do most of the stuff you want to do, you want to do it in 15 minutes anyway. If you're trying to teach something. Exactly, exactly. You, I think that 15 minutes is more than enough. Yeah. So you can find you can, uh, the complete instructions uh, for installing it and uh, setting it up. Because I, I was teaching it in my workshop. So um, you, can, uh, you can see how to set it up. It's quite simple and it's very effective, but it makes really nice tutorials. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. as long as you uh, do, just want to do things in 15 minutes, it's uh, yeah. yeah, quite nice. Like we plenty of time. So that's what Nelly is using for her screencast-o-matic videos. But one of them is 17 minutes, and she has lots of tools, arrows, and things like that that she puts on the screen. So, uh, and also she gets uh, sound card audio in those videos. So uh, that means uh, with the free version, you can only speak, and you can see what's on the screen. You it looks get, interesting. Yeah, it is very. The screencast-o-matic yeah. is quite interesting. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. yeah. So do you, so you say you have a a um, um, a Google Classroom that you've set up? Uh, yes, I uh, set a Google Classroom for my pupils mm -hmm. in grade six, and uh, I uh, every week I give them a topic to discuss and uh, send their uh, comments, and I give them their f uh, feedback. Mm -hmm. Do you, uh, do you if you'd like, you can show it to us. Uh, actually, I'm uh, here. Uh, I'm talking from my mobile phone ah. because I'm out of my. I'm not at home. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, may maybe next time I can show you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hala, one question. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Hala. Excuse me. Yes. Have you have you used uh, all other Google applications? Because I find them so useful. Google Sites and Google Docs and uh, you know Google Earth. Have you used them all? Have you tried uh, them with the students? Uh, yeah, uh, this one I uh, just have tried uh, since a year uh, because it's a, a kind of uh, something new for me. Uh, so this is the only one, this is the only application I uh, use with my uh, students and uh, sometimes we meet at uh, Zoom. Uh, sometimes I use Zoom application to meet together and uh, to discuss making a kind of open discussion about uh, many things, but away from the curriculum. But I use Google uh, Classroom uh, to discuss uh, things I teach them inside the classroom. I see, I see, okay, okay. So how, how does that work? Do you, do you prepare things on Google Classroom and then you expect them to look at that before you go to class and then you discuss in class? How, how does it work? Uh, Yes, uh, actually, I am interested in improving my students' ability uh, skill in speaking, especially in speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we, I suggest to them a topic uh, from the curriculum, uh, for example, um, uh, the, uh, about the ancient Egyptian, for example, and uh, we discuss about some things. Uh, they, I ask them to collect uh, photos, uh, any articles about this topic, and uh, uh, they send me uh, their uh, comments and their uh, homework, and I give them feedback uh, in the classroom after this, and uh, sometimes I send my feedback on the Google, uh, on the Google Classroom application. And I think uh, it, uh, it's a very uh, useful, um, uh, as uh, by this way, I improve their ability in speaking inside the classroom and their ability in writing their skill in writing also at the same time. I'm sorry, Hala, maybe I didn't catch what you said too well. But anyhow, my question is, uh, does each student have a space of their own? Yes, yes, each student has it. Yes, good, for their good. own. So yes. you have integrated Google Sites where you give a, a, a page to each student to publish whatever it is that they are doing? Yes. Yes. Ah, good, good, great, great. Do they enjoy working yes. there? Yes, really. Uh, they enjoyed. They enjoyed it very much. 
Uh, and uh, at the beginning, uh, the, not all of them uh, are willing to participate, but uh, after a while, uh, they started to be encouraged, and uh, I think uh, most of them now uh, participate. So I think I it's, very, it's very useful. Uh, right, and Hala, and have you tried uh, making any projects with teachers from other countries? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Well, oh, that's wonderful. That's ex that's the best thing you can do. Yeah. You have to expose your students to other group of students studying English in a different country with different cultures and different, you know, uh, ways of uh, living. In. I think that's a great yeah. experience that you should have with your students. They will love yes. it. Uh, actually, I uh, I'm thinking about this, and I will put this in my consideration for the right. next time. Right, right. That's very nice. I will do That's this. That's what we used to do. The web uh, used to get I have together a and Telegram group is called Teachers All Around the World. Oh, yeah. great! Like PAL students, you mean? Sorry. Uh, yeah, PALs in uh, what they like call them? Like PAL students. PAL. PALs, PALs, yes. Mm -hmm. We call them PAL students. Yes. Huh? Okay. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. I will. I will try. I will try this. I will try this. Uh, Rita mentioned the, the web heads. I suppose we could probably find a link for what's the group's IO link now? What are we using now? Oh, well, that was quite an experience for everybody in the group. But it's still going on. So, yeah, we might. Yeah, why yeah. not? We are all really having a kind of nostalgia, you know? Yeah, let me see if I can find, uh, let's see, groups IO. This well, is Well, a... I need to tell you that um, when we joined the group, we were just a few from different countries. And uh, mm -hmm. our aim was uh, really uh, trying to see which tools to use uh, to get together and um, well, share tools and uh, organize uh, different kinds of activities for our students. So we... Uh, started making these projects. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, and, but, uh, but if I want to start this project, uh, how can I start it? Um, uh, with whom can I connect it to uh, get my students uh, contact with uh, another students from other country? Uh, oh, I don't that's know how to good, start. Yeah, the, that's I think the most difficult thing that is finding the right person because uh, the right person should be somebody who will be interested in your own project and somebody who yeah. will share your own interests that is your students yeah. should be uh, the same age as uh, yeah. the other yeah. teacher students and uh, you should try to find um, a topic which the students would be interested in but yeah. Um, yeah that's why i'm saying that the most difficult thing is find the right person with the right group for you to match your students but that is not so difficult if you join yeah. the teachers forums. There are teacher forums everywhere now. Yeah. When, we, yeah. when we met, remember, some 15 years ago, Vance, that was not so easy. And yeah. um, we had these projects among ourselves with our students, and we carried them out so successfully. Our students really enjoyed them so much that we carried yeah. out many different projects, and we enjoyed them yeah. really a lot. Yeah, it's very interesting. Actually, uh, we can exchange, uh, uh, we know uh, each other's traditions and culture, and exactly. uh, I think it's a very interesting thing. Yeah, exactly. You know what we did? Uh, we used to open a blog for each yeah. project, and the blog, <clears throat> we used to use Podomatic, for example, is a very good site to, to, to share, because you open a yeah. blog there, and you can even uh, upload uh, audio, which is very interesting. And um, if you use Podomatic, you open one blog there, and you can invite as many students as you want. And so you can share this this space with your students and with your partner teacher. And sure. uh, so, students yeah. can join. Yeah. And well, of course, it's up to you to find the topic the students will love. Yeah. Because that's yeah. motivation, I think, is the really the core yes. thing. Motivation. Yes, yes, of course. 
course uh, and uh, my pupils are uh, so motivated but uh, as i told you i just want to know how to start but uh, you gave me some ideas and uh, i think i'm going to start this project it's a very interesting great. one great great Hala. great yeah you'll enjoy thank it. you thank you so much Reed. yeah You're one welcome. one group that we're interacting in right now which is she was talking about so many years ago we this group uh, was very active. Now it still is. There's something about Argentine webheads right there. <laughs> yeah. um, but Rita is one of those. But anyway, basically, this is this is a group. You can join it if you want. I just put the uh, the link in the text chat. So if you just join it, then you can post to the group and say that you are um, say who you are and what you're looking for. And you never know. You yeah. might uh, that that's one possibility. Okay. So. People are interacting there, but we've been doing this for 20 years, so uh, yeah. we were much more active before. But uh, yeah. and we were in also something called Yahoo Groups, and yeah. Yahoo Groups yeah. died, and then so we res we resurrected the Yahoo Groups group into Groups IO, and it's still there and it's still interacting, as you can see. This is the the topics we've been talking about now. Yeah. But anyway, Every you can yeah. we get together, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you could post something there and somebody might respond. That's just one possibility. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm not really on top of where else you, you would do it. But like you say, it's so many teachers forums. Um, you could probably Google Blogs. what would yeah. you pin pals or something, not pin pals, but I don't know, key pals. Uh, Student spells. Yeah, yeah. Student spells, yes. Yeah. yeah oh, the thing it, is that, mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I was just going to say, if you find good pals, then you should tell us. You can come back and post to this group and tell us where they are. So, uh, because yeah, we're, we're, trying, we're trying to share information about this kind of thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. But it's the only way that just by sharing that you get somebody, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, getting to know new people and people interested in what you're doing so that they can join mm -hmm. you. That's uh, that's the only way that is going online and uh, making yourself a bit popular so that your other teachers get to know you a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if the project I've started right now, uh, which was really a, a workshops project and it's turned into a, an e-learning project. That's, I'm just clicking on a link in the sidebar over here. So that's what this thing that I'm doing right now is part of. It's a three-week course, but what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to leave it online. I'm going to leave it all up. Everything that, that's here is all going to stay here. So people can go there and they can also, uh, they can enroll in a Schoology course if they want. And that's where you come here. And I'm going to set a week for, I'm going to set a community space here. Uh, it's, I've had three weeks and the first one, week one, week two, and week three. So week three is coming to a close, but I've, I'm going to set up a community space and then we can just see if, because I, I'm still getting interest, uh, you know, it takes a while for these communities to form. And, um, so right now, um, there's, there's kind of developing interest in this course and it, uh, I'll just leave it there and see what happens. I won't be so active myself and uh, every day keeping on top of it, but uh, I'll set up something that people could continue. So I right now it's got 40 people in it. So that's uh, and that's only great. about, yeah. Great, great, Vance. Right. Congratulations. You're always pushing us and trying to revive and, you know, to get this revival, Webhead's revival every year. It's kind of fun to do something like I'm doing right now, which was sort of, I was asked to do it and to, and it made me, it forced me, you know, the best way to teach is to, the way, best way to learn is to teach. Yeah. So I was basically, I'm learning the new, I new things to do to, uh, in the in the present environment, what can I do to, uh, to do the things we were doing in web heads, which were right. easy to do with a different set of tools more yeah. flexible tools, more open, yeah. more available. Now things are getting a little premium, pre uh, not free, uh, premium, premium. They're, they're becoming, uh, they're, they're getting pulled away from us. And uh, yeah. it's a little harder to find these tools, but 
uh, it's given me a chance to revive this concept in a modern, yeah. you know, 20 years right. later uh, yeah. context. So anyway. Hey, Vance. Well, uh, I need to leave. I, it was a pleasure really to join you again. And uh, thank you very much. Hala again. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank pleasure you. to see you again, mine. Rita. Yes. Yes. And thank you for I, I, your great idea, Rita, okay. about the project. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. And see you next time. Uh, whenever you okay. feel like contacted me, maybe you'll find my email address somewhere in Vance's. Okay. <laughs> Just be, before you go, Rita, what are, what are you doing nowadays? I mean, you're in, in the teacher training the last I was, we were yeah. in touch. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I do that. Uh -huh. And mainly with the teachers locally. Uh -huh. uh, that is, I'm doing uh, workshops whenever I'm needed. Uh, mm -hmm. which is not that often, but anyhow, that's what I do, that is teacher training, I'm not in front of a group, which is, you know, a pity, because sometimes being in front of a group with students uh, makes yeah. you learn a lot, really mm -hmm. helps you learn. But um, anyway, uh, I'm retired now, so I'm just uh, enjoying uh, these courses I do for teachers, for colleagues in Rosario, where mm -hmm. I live, and uh, that's exactly that's just what i do so okay. anyhow mm -hmm. if, if um i can be of any help just you you know where i am okay well anyway nice okay, to see you thank you Rita. thanks for joining nice us to see you. Uh, oh. nice to would see you would you please send your email or is it, it will be difficult would you be send your email sorry she, she wants to know if you can put your email in the text would chat would you send your email oh, okay mm -hmm. yeah i will i will, email, yeah, yes. I will. okay right, right. thank you yeah Yeah, Rita and I, the, one of the things she was talking about earlier was this writing matrix, which is, uh, there's, it, it's at writingmatrix.pbworks.com. I'll, I'll put it there. It was at okay. Wiki Spaces, and Wiki Spaces disappeared, and we, uh, we rejuvenated it. Well, we, we brought it back to teachers involved. You did that, yes. You're using the plural, but it's you. <laughs> well, no, we all contributed. Sasha contributed. We we all oh, Sasha as we, well. We brought uh, we well we brought this information into the it perpetuated it here in uh, PB Works from uh, uh, Wiki Spaces, which was shutting down. But oh, basically, yeah. it's a resource that shows you. Uh, the publications we made from this effort and how we did it, and especially the 2006 um, right. uh, 15 minute segment we did in K to 12 online. That was really nice. Here that. it is, right it here. Fun. It was Present. fun. It was so, so much fun. Mm -hmm. There we go. So if you play that, uh, <laughs> you can play that, that yeah, thing. That's a really, a that's a really neat. Let really me put that in there. I'll just. That's yes, our... We enjoyed it so much. Yes, that sometimes you feel like you know going back and having some more fun of the same kind. <laughs> yeah. So okay, Vance, um, maybe we can just uh, plan something together and do something to live again those experiences that we enjoyed so much. Well, we're we're still around. It's it's amazing. We we Hala, we started this in 2000, 2001, 2002, something yeah. like that. And we're still we're in this web yeah. heads. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We were yeah, pioneers. We were pioneers. <laughs> Once a web head, yeah. always a web head. Is you are the pioneers. Yes, exactly. You are the pioneers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, a pleasure Great. to meet you both. Bye bye. Have a okay. Nice day. Thank you. Bye bye, Rita. Really nice to meet you. Thank you. But not only pioneers, but still viable. So, you know, still <laughs> using our experience to perpetuate what we did it was unusual back then and it's it's still actually the, the the things have changed a little bit it used to be much easier back in, in those days to put something yeah. together on your own now things are a little bit more complicated just because it's uh, the, the platforms so disappear which, which you feel better uh, past or nowadays i think you like the past much uh, you know, anyone nowadays, who has like, experienced the past will really appreciate the past, especially before the internet, when you could go to the beach and you spend the whole weekend there and you don't mm -hmm. even think about it. There's no cell phones. You just go off and leave everything. 
and you're camping or you, you just leave it and then but come. no one can deny that the uh, importance of the internet now uh, it uh, gets the world as a small village uh, you are uh, in malaysia and i'm here in egypt uh, we wouldn't know each other's unless of the internet or the new technology uh, yes. the past yes. is um, has its spirit you know uh, you feel um, more comfortable in the past because uh, you think it's uh, it was easier uh, it's uh, better for some people but i think uh, nowadays is uh, it's not bad <laughs> they are not bad well it's hard to uh, in the past where things were not quite as always on, you know, they, they call it always on now. So uh, in the past, you didn't, you didn't have to be always on. You could, you could still connect to people. I mean, 20 years ago, we were connecting to people in different countries. I, I met Rita back then, people in Taiwan, so different people in our groups. The people that uh, in this writing matrix project came from Slovenia and United Arab Emirates and uh, Venezuela and Argentina and you know different places you know so we were all connecting with one another and putting our students in touch with one another um, and back then we were starting to get very connected but it with social media things have have gotten to be all the time uh, even you know my wife sometimes she's uh, checking things at, at night and in bed you know as I said the light come on it, it's just unnecessary uh, you have to leave yeah. it for some time. You have to distance yourself from it. Yeah, so yeah. that, you know, a, a time when... Uh, uh, Sometimes you need a space. Yeah, you need a space. And, yeah, you, need and a space. you need a space to go and just appreciate nature. And yeah. uh, so that that was a lot easier to achieve back in the old mm. days. Uh, I used to write yeah. a paper. I would put it in the mail. Yeah. I would send it off. Mm. And then I would forget about it for a month until I finally got a reply back, you know, and then, oh, right, now yeah. I got to revise this paper or something. But nowadays you email it and two yes, days later. It's the got same the... moment you'll get the reply. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're, you're always working on things. And there's so, you, your potential is maximized yeah. because you can uh, make many publications yeah. and do many presentations and you can do these online things. But uh happier people were i think in the old days and people yeah yeah uh, you are right yeah but anyway you that's right, okay but you but, are not so old <laughs> yeah you well, you're only you're as old so as you old. feel <laughs> yeah so anyway okay well it was nice of you to come by and uh thank you so much yes if you want to join the schoology course it would be a way to keep in touch actually you might even make contact okay. with people there so you might want to yeah. do that just to get into this community uh yeah. but as i said the, the community itself is going to not be really active after the 11th mm. but by that yeah. i mean I'm, I'm actually engaged to keep this going through the 11th yeah but after that uh, I, i'm i'm going to leave you it up going and i'm to going travel? yeah well yeah i'm going, going to, to travel to uh, uh, tiesel something to tiesel uh, tiesel in conference. denver yeah yeah, yeah. there's a conference where in uh, california denver. denver denver colorado where, where is it colorado colorado, colorado. Yeah. yeah colorado if, yes if i feel i can travel this is not a good time for traveling <laughs> but anyway yeah we'll we'll, we'll see but uh, but uh, but aren't you going to make another session after you come uh, back uh, to uh, to share us the experience that you had in this uh, journey or what yeah this is my my website learning together it's uh yeah. it's my podcast site um i don't know if you've got text chats over here but let's see if i go to the sidebar here i have learning together is that learning together.net i believe so yes learning together.net that's the uh this is the the place where I set up all my webinars. Uh, this is the last one I did, uh, episode 441. There we go, 441. And this, by the way, was okay. part of our course. And uh, Jeff LeBeau is somebody who's in Korea, and he, uh, we did a lot of work together online. We've done that for yeah. you know several years, 15 years, I suppose. But anyway, he. Uh, explained how he set up his 
uh, sites. Uh, his, his, he, he sets up his blended learning sites in Blogger. Yeah. And this, yeah. These are all his courses right here. So he just talked okay. about that. And, and the, the theme for this week really is about people who are having to do this, uh, having to go from blended learning, where Jeff already had a yeah. blended learning environment, but yeah. now the classes aren't meeting. So he, yeah. he, he's already got his classes set up. He just made his, uh, his course in Zoom. Yeah, he, yeah. he does the, the meetings in Zoom. So he's with a blended learning setup, he's ready to go if someone cancels classes. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to talk in two days. We're going to talk with some people in Hong Kong who have yeah. had to cancel their classes and see that yeah. they, can, they can compare with what Jeff did in his classes. And I've yeah. been doing this for a long time. These are some of my classes. I've, I've, I've got lots of blended learning classes. Yes. If, yes. If you want to go to this, this is the, it's the last, uh, Episode at learningtogether.net. Oh, so okay, you, uh, it will be a pleasure. Yeah, I will. Also. I will be in it as sure. much as I can. Okay, well, and uh, I'm doing so that with much. Hana. Hana with her uh, uh, was the uh, the tech uh, the, the Nile T Sol. Um, yeah. What is it? What's the name of her group? The uh, for our group, uh, yeah. mentoring group. ITech, ITech maybe, I, uh, I, IT, IT-SIG, uh, IT-SIG? Uh, IT-SIG, yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. something yeah. like this. Um, <laughs> yes, Nile Tissel, Nile Tissel, Nile Tissel, yes. Yeah, anyway, she's IT been IT she's been using Learning Together. Some of the, uh, the things we've been doing in Learning Together are... I could actually show them to you. This is a, all the index of past events is here. So if we go down to yeah. the search on Hana. Okay. Hana. Okay, there we go. So um, there are lots of, here we go. All, all of these, where she's in yellow there. She's been uh, either coming yeah. to our sessions or we've been working together. Uh, mm. This page I'm looking at right here, this this one right here. I'll just put yeah. text chat. So, uh, and then it'll all be in the recording. So I always do show notes in the recording. Now the recording is going to be posted at learningtogether.net, like this one right oh. here. Yes. We're, we're yes. doing episode 442 right now. So if you go to yeah. learningtogether.net, you're going to find the recording online here that we're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and uh, it was a very fruitful session, and uh, thank you. Thank you, and thanks for Rita and uh, for you both. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you very much. I certainly enjoyed meeting you, and uh, I hope, you. hope to see you again. Okay. Okay. Be sure of that. Be sure of this. I will okay. be here. <laughs> okay. okay. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, we've got to figure out how to stop this. Let's see. Oh, where's my... Oh, I know. i got to stop the share. If you leave a share up, you have no control over your... Work. There we go. No. Okay. So, bye, Hannah. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording now. Bye-bye. Okay.